Hello, I'm Nick Wiley. Today's April 4th, 2023. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A coalition led by over 6,000 nuns across the U.S. is coming out in support of the so-called transgender community. In a recent statement, the coalition declared, As members of the body of Christ, we cannot be whole without the full inclusion of transgender, non-binary, and gender expansive individuals. The declaration was spearheaded by the Sisters of Providence of St. Mary of the Woods, Indiana, among others. In a new April 3rd motu proprio, Pope Francis is amending the Code of Canon Law. Monday, the Vatican released a document officially amending Canon 700, which deals with former religious dismissed from consecrated life, giving them 30 days to appeal the decision instead of 10. According to Pope Francis, this will allow the person concerned to be able to better evaluate the charges against him, as well as to be able to use more appropriate modes of communication. Turning to Maryland, Democrats are moving to enshrine abortion as a right. Before the legislative session closes later this month, state lawmakers have approved a referendum in 2024 for Maryland voters to decide on enshrining so-called reproductive freedom as a fundamental right. The bill does not need a signature from Democratic Governor Wes Moore, though he is in support. Sticking in Maryland, lawmakers are also advancing a measure to help childhood victims of sex abuse. Maryland's House of Delegates passed the Child Victims Act Friday after a different version passed in the Senate. Both houses will essentially have final votes in the next few days before it hits the governor's desk. The Maryland Catholic Conference opposes the measure since it would enable clerical abuse survivors to sue over incidents from decades ago. The Sri Lankan bishops are calling on their government to protect the judiciary and freedom of speech. Published Friday, the bishop's statement is a response to recent attempts in Parliament to stall the Supreme Court's interim order not to withhold already allocated funds for local government elections. The Sri Lankan bishops further asked the government to halt any measures to curtail free speech, especially the free speech of media outlets critical towards the government. I'm Nick Wiley. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today where Michael talks about the military. God bless you.